with Amisha and today I am showing you guys how I do maintenance on my press tips um well you know press on nails so um I wanted to do a video I mean because you guys know I'm always doing my nails on my video and I'm always telling you guys how they're lasting me three to four weeks so I just wanted to show you guys how of course by me not breaking them you know <laughs> but if one breaks I just replace it that's all you got to do but I just wanted to show you guys how um, I take care of my press on nails because I mean I'm just talking about me what I do you know I'm not judging other people or talking about other people I'm just showing you guys what I do so um, to maintain my press on nails um, keeping them clean there's all kind of things you know that I do not a lot guys it's not that serious so of course you guys know I'm always cooking I'm always cleaning I'm always doing all kind of stuff so um, this is what I do. Usually when I put my nails on, um, I, I wait till about a week later before I do this. You know, at least have them on for a week. So, let me show you guys the first thing I do. Some warm water. And I've got some palm olive, ultra, what, whatever, palm olive dish detergent, child. Any kind of dish detergent you got, whatever you want to use. I use this palm olive to clean my hands and my nails. So, get it all nice and lathered up. Cleaning my nails. Because you guys know, things get stuck under your nails. Food and all kinds of stuff. And we definitely got to be keeping our hands clean nowadays. But yeah, I just, I don't do too much. I just do a little scrub. Give a nice little scrub to my nails. Get them all nice and foamed up. All nice and foamy. Now, and I have a toothbrush. Not a toothbrush that I use, y'all, to brush my teeth. It's a toothbrush. A new toothbrush. But anyway. So, I use a toothbrush. And I just clean under my nails. We just want to clean under our nails. Give you guys a little close shot. I'm just cleaning under the nails. See if I can get, get it a good shot. Under the nails. Cleaning under the nails. Just going across the nails underneath there. Cleaning under there. Make sure there's no gook and leftover food and whatever. Nothing left over under there. Keep keeping them clean. So you want your water to be warm. Not too hot. Let me cut this water down. A little hot. Okay. Alright. So. Just a little scrub under your nails. Just a little scrub. All right, get all that rinsed off my hands. They're all nice and washed and clean. And I just kind of rub across the back of the nails a little bit too. Just a little bit. All right. So, get my hands dried because you don't want to keep your hand like just underwater forever. I mean, no need for that. We just washing them. Washing our hands real good, washing under the nails real good. I get a little napkin and I just dry my hands real good, dry my nails real good, of course. Make sure, I want to show you guys, the back of your nail right here. This back part right here. The back part. Well, the whole cuticle, the whole nail, around the nail. You want to make sure you're drying that off. Because hopefully by now you guys have seen my how to remove your press on nail videos. So, you want to make sure you're getting the back of that nail. Make sure you're drying that off. We want to dry that off. Make sure they all getting nice and dry. So, I just like individually just wipe them off with the napkin. Make sure I'm getting all that water from under there. All that water from back there. Because we're not trying to loosen our nails up to take them off. We're not trying to do that. So, make sure your nails are real nice and dry. Make sure they're real nice and dry. Okay, so my nails are all nice and dry. And I'm sure you guys have probably seen by now the video to this set. This is such a beautiful set. Got this from five and below. Beautiful set. Okay, so my hands are all nice and dry. We've already done that. So, now, let's move on. I'm going to move you guys over here. I'm going to zone you guys into over here while I have my other maintenance. Just basic stuff, guys. Basic stuff. Let me make sure you guys can see because y'all know how my camera be doing. He be tripping. Okay. So, 
Um, I've got some lotion, whatever kind of lotion you want. I've got Jergens. I have all kind of lotions, but I do love the Jergens, especially the ultra, ultra Healing. I love this. It's really good for dry skin. But my favorite is the Nivea, the Blue Bottle Nivea. It's my favorite. Okay, all right, so we've got some Jergens lotion. Um, I've got the um, cuticle oil. And I've got the, of course, my top coat. And I have some glue. Nail glue, duh. Okay, now the reason I have the nail glue is just in case you've got a loose nail. You know, like maybe you got a nail that's kind of lifting up. So you want to put some more glue on it. You know, get it back, get it back down, get it back set in place. Um, you know, like if you got a nail lifting or moving or it's loose, just want to do your maintenance, tighten it up, put some glue under there, get it back down, get it pressed back down so everybody's back down like they need to be. Um, I checked all mine, none of mine are loose. I just did these about a week ago, week and a half ago. So they're all still tight, no one's loose, no one's coming up, no one's cracked or anything. Because if you've got a cracked nail, all you got to do is just replace it, you know? Because in the set, they give you extra nails. So just replace it. If you've got a cracked nail, a chip nail, you know, you just replace it. And I don't have any to replace, but that's all you do. Just replace it if you have one that's cracked or chip. Okay, so the next thing we want to do, so I don't need my nail glue. I'm going to move on to my cuticle oil. Because I want to go ahead and get my, want to make sure we're keeping that, those cuticles nice and healthy. Because you don't want your cuticles to get all dry and crack. And we all know from washing our hands so much, that can happen. So, you want to make sure you're treating your nail with this cuticle oil. Making sure you guys can see. Alright, okay. So, I'm just putting the cuticle oil around the back, around the sides. All I'm doing, just giving it some oil. So it can stay nice and moist. That way my cuticles aren't cracking. Just taking it across the cuticles here. Around the sides and stuff. So my cuticles aren't cracking. And once again, I got this cuticle oil from five and below for five dollars. You can get it from anywhere. Whoever sells the cuticle oil, it doesn't matter. And see, I'm getting them all nice and oiled up. Treating my cuticles. All right, let me go ahead and do this other hand. And I like this cuticle oil because it's like a nail polish bottle, you know? So I can just polish the oil on. I really like that. Makes it easy to apply. So, putting that on the back of the nail, around. Because we all know as time goes on, the our cuticles, you know, they start to dry out. But see, with you putting this cuticle oil on, keeps your cuticles from drying out we trying to maintain these press on nails and this isn't stuff that takes all day it doesn't take you hours to do this wash your hand apply some cuticle oil and that's about it if you need to replace a nail replace a nail you know if you don't you don't okay and I just wipe the extra oil off but as I'm wiping it off, I'm rubbing it into my nail. You know, I'm rubbing it in there so that the nail is getting it. Rubbing it in there. So my cuticles are all nice and moist. They're all nice and back oiled up. They're not dry and cracked. See, they're all nice and oiled up. All right, let's get that cuticle oil closed up. All right, so the last thing we need to do, let me bring you guys up some into the light. Okay, so. The last thing we need to do <clears throat> is lotion. Need to lotion your hands because of course you just got through washing them so they're dry. So you just get you a nice amount of lotion and you just lotion your hand up. Lotion them all up. The entire hand now, not just the way you have the press on nails on that. And I'm telling you guys, I do this when I put my nails on, I'll do it like two weeks after I put my nails on. I'll do this. And then my nails last another week after that or a week and a half after that. Usually about three weeks. They usually last about three weeks. So two weeks after I put them on, um, I go ahead and do my maintenance. Because by then, they're going to need some maintenance. You know, if you got one that's chipped, you got one that's broken, you know, it needs to be replaced. And then I just take this, take my hand, and I just go across my uh, cuticle like this, you know, getting some of that lotion in there. So my cuticles aren't all dry and cracky looking and my hands ain't all dry. And you know what else I like about this Jergens? This Jergens helps my hand look 
all nice and smooth and helps keeps my hands all young. Yes, ladies, I said that. Yeah, y'all better get y'all some Jergens. <laughs> get y'all some Jergens. Okay, now, right here, 45 years old with 25 year old hands. <laughs> I'm so silly, y'all. Y'all know I'm crazy. <sighs> But yeah, so I just lotion my hands up real good. Lotion my hands up real good. Okay. All right. So we got our hands all nice and lotion. And I take my napkin and I just wipe the excess lotion off. Yes, I do. You don't need all that lotion on top of the nail. You don't need all that. So now, the very last thing, if I said last thing, no. The very last thing we're going to do, we're going to add top coat because we know what that top coat does that top coat is what helps keeps our nails strong hold on y'all let me get y'all adjusted that top coat is what helps keeps our nails strong so we want to go ahead and um we want to go ahead and add that top coat so let's go ahead and get our top coat open and get another nice top coat on our nails remember that top coat is important that top coat helps maintain the nail helps the nail stay strong keeps it from cracking so much I just put a little quick top coat on there get me a nice fresh top coat on there again Yep, nice fresh top coat on there again. And we are back looking brand new. Look at that, back shiny, gorgeous. Everything's back looking brand new. I love the thumbnail, I think it's so pretty. And look at that, our skin's all nice and smooth and glowy. And our nails are good for another week or two. Gorgeous. All right, guys, that's it. That's all. That's that's simple. That's just how I do it. That's how I maintain my nails. Can't just throw your press-ons on and forget about them. You got to, you know, just a little maintenance. Just, just a little maintenance. One-time maintenance. So, all right, guys. You seen me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media, guys, at Arika Misha. And don't forget, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.